Hey everybody, welcome to Liquid Lunch. It's me, Hugh Esters here. We're both wearing red. <laughs> we always right? come color you know coordinated, I mean? not even knowing. We don't even plan it this way. And uh, we're very happy. We've got Evelyn Wiseman here, uh, the director of uh, marketing and community with Yelp. Yeah. Right? Oh. We're going to find out all about Yelp. <laughs> Hope so. Now, okay. Now, Esther, just a little. Have you ever heard of Yelp? You know what? I want to say that I think it's a search engine, but I'm probably way off. See, this is the thing. There's it's an impression. That's it. We're going to find out all about Yelp. Sort of going to be an introduction to Yelp, I guess, uh, especially for people in Toronto. Yeah. Or people in Canada. Mm -hmm. Right, Evelyn? So first of all, thanks for coming down here today. And um, let's find out all about Yelp. Sure. I'm excited to be here. Thank you for having me. Okay, great. <laughs> so what the heck is Yelp? Now, we've heard of it. I've heard of it before. Yelp. Rhymes with help. It does. Um, and it helps you find great local businesses. So Yelp is a website and a mobile app. And you can search whatever you want. It's, you're not totally wrong. It is sort of a search engine. But it helps you find um, real reviews from real people. So when you're looking for a taco or you're looking for a dentist or you're looking for something to fix your roof, you can go to Yelp and search in what you're looking for. And it'll tell you where to go based on real people's experiences. Mm. Oh, you know what? I was trying to use Yelp, like, just last week. Oh, yeah. What were you looking for? I was looking for, uh, like, uh, somebody to move a big couch. So, so, yeah. So you can find that sort of thing on Yelp. It's more commonly known for, I think, food, hotels, bars, that sort of thing. But in yeah. Toronto, there's a lot of excellent re re reviews written by real locals about things like movers, cleaning to people, Oh, gosh, photographers, DJs, things like that. So would you be able to theoretically find any kind of a business mm -hmm. under Yelp? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. And also get comments. Yes. And so the reviews are written by real people like any of us. If we had a fabulous or meh or wonderful. Versus thing. like companies who want to advertise exactly. and the, might so want to be on the first on the list, right? Like yeah. on other search engines. It's, um, th there are capabilities to advertise on Yelp. But at the heart and soul of it, it is real reviews from real people. So I especially love using Yelp if I'm traveling. So yeah. if I'm in another city, right. I don't want to go to where the Lonely Planet has no offense, Lonely Planet. I like them very much. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to go to where someone whose job it is to be a travel journalist suggested. I want to go where the locals go. Yeah. Does that yeah. make sense? So yeah, I find yeah. it really helpful if, you know, if I'm in Europe or the United States or just another city in Canada. Well, plus it's, um, it's, it's kind of like you, you just think about how really things have changed since the internet's come along it used to be the yellow pages yeah. you see a, a listing in the yellow pages though but you don't know i mean you really just it's a stab in the dark you don't know how good they are uh, yes. there's no third party validation of any kind right, right. um so i mean i'm just curious how long have you been with i've company? worked for yelp Six and a half years now. Mm -hmm. So I started as a community manager, and now I'm the marketing and community director here in Toronto. Um, it has been in Canada for almost a decade, and it's been around for f about 15 years. Mm -hmm. Headquartered and started in San Francisco, mm -hmm. like so many of the tech companies. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, I mean, um, and what would, I mean, do you know, I don't know if you know this, but I'm just going to ask That's anyways. Okay. I'll check. The, um, do you know the the story of the origin of Yelp? Is there a story that goes with that? Yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. I'm. <laughs> it's one of those like urban legends that exists in your head. But I believe that the founder was looking for a dentist in San Francisco, and he just wanted to know who was good, yeah. and he just wanted to know not from an advertising standpoint who was good, like who was a dentist right. that was reasonably priced that took his because in America, like HMO or whatever, I'm not that familiar So with that. it's a Canadian company or it's American? It's Amer it started in the United States. So it started in San Francisco. So he was just trying to find a dentist and realized he just, I believe it was a dentist. He's probably, he's the CEO of Yelp's not watching this right now though. So <laughs> I can say whatever I want. Um, and he wanted to find out how people had, their actual experiences were because he just didn't like, mm -hmm. you know, it's not, sometimes the less when than glamorous things are people. you should be careful. You don't want to. Yeah, right? <laughs> exactly. And then he realized that there are very powerful search engines out there, but they're, a lot of them aren't powered by the people and that there was a definite um, gap in the market. Mm -hmm. And he filled it. And now there are over 100 million reviews on Yelp. 
worldwide. Wow. Yeah. So you can find just about anyone's opinion on anything. 80% of reviews are three stars or higher. So more people go there to share positive stories than horror stories, which is a good thing, though, because we want to support local businesses. Yeah. So, yeah. So what's that, um, I guess, supporting local businesses? I mean, that's... um that could be a business or a business model, or that could be a uh, almost like a economic development uh, model. Mm-hmm. Uh, was there any kind of besides that? Was there any kind of philosophical reasons for I, starting? You know? I, I don't know the philo- the philosophy originally behind it, but I think once it got started to get rolling, they realized this was an opportunity to help people find mom and pop shops. And great local businesses for coffee instead of Starbucks, instead of um, old things that you just have heard of. You got a chance to feel and know that they were great before you went in the door. So take some more chances. So it definitely has been good for the economy in terms of supporting local businesses and getting people to try them in their own city. Or again, like I said, I really enjoy it when I'm traveling. Okay. So does that mean that, for example, big name stores, chains are not on Yelp? They are on Yelp. But I think that, you know, you can anyone can review. You could review the like the bus station. You can review whatever you well, we want could to. Review non-commercial operations. You, we could review this. Could review. I could review this experience if I wanted to. Five stars. Five stars. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it definitely helps. Sorry, I have pregnancy brain right now, so my mind just went blank for a second. That's but okay. in general, it definitely does help the economy in general Mm -hmm. but you can find all the big businesses on there but i think that you'll notice that people are more excited to tell you about this little hidden gem that just they know about than another starbucks or another tim hortons right yeah well makes sense i mean that that's one of the things i guess that like a big name like a brand right the whole idea Mm -hmm. of the brand the brand itself conveys most of what you need to know about a business, right? You know, yeah. a Tim Hortons, a Tim Hortons, mm-hmm. right? Um, it makes it interactive, obviously. Like, you guys were probably the first to start doing something like that, and it's still evolving, still developing. It, it is, yeah. You know? And, you know, there are definitely some of the other big tech companies that everyone mm-hmm. has heard of have their own review platforms now within their sites, but Yelp is still the, the number one. Place number to go one for that. number one place to go for that because it has the most content and the most really rich careful content from local people so is it worldwide now it is it's not yelp is on every single country i believe it's in 21 countries in total but most north america and western europe and some of asia Okay. Not China. There are a couple countries that have very strict laws related to the They've internet. Got the great firewall going They've on. got a lot going on that I don't fully understand. But I know that if you're traveling Western Europe or if you're anywhere in North America, hmm. Mexico, um, South America, and Japan. So that Taiwan. I mean, that's a good point. You yeah. know, when you're traveling and you because you know you're in another town, you don't know what you're dealing with. Yeah. So chances are, for example, if uh, like, chances are, if you're walking down the street, say, in Montreal or Vancouver, mm-hmm. um, and I see a business, and mm-hmm. I'm thinking about, should I go in there or not? Is it, like, what are the chances that it's going to be in Yelp? And then can oh, I, I would say, like, 99.9. Really? Yeah, like really most high. most yeah. mom and pop shops or most, but most businesses, you're saying, would be there? Yeah. You want to, I have, I'll open my app right now if you want to look. You want to test it? Yeah, you want to come up with well, something you want? All right. What would you like to I don't eat know. Do today? You have, do, you, do you do reviews of those, you know, those cannabis shops? Yeah, we could look up weed. Why not? Really? Just for fun? Well, right? I don't see why not. Um, Is Alleviate in there? I don't know. Do you want to check them out? But, but we here are, the, here are the weed dispensaries around us that see. have reviews yeah. that came up. Let me see. <laughs> it's legal in Canada, so I think that we're allowed, we're allowed to talk about this now. Wow. Impunity? Well, they're supposed to not exist now, dispensaries, right? Right. Well, oh, that's true. So well, maybe they we shut should... them all down since it went legal. Maybe we Insane. shouldn't comment on who's on there then, just in we're case. Not gonna, we're not going to mention anything. But as but... you can see, okay. the ones that are around Any recent us right reviews? Now. Like uh, yesterday? I mean, yeah, yeah. Not that I'm even interested in that sort of thing. <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, okay. So, but um, yeah, so it knows where I am, and I'm searching based on my current location. 
So it gave oh, me within like, you know, it gave me us four or five dispensaries within um, a couple kilometer radius. And then as you can see, some of them have, you know, three and a half stars, four stars, five stars. And some of them are don't have any reviews yet, but they're on Yelp because you can, oh, <laughs> people can add businesses. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. So um, how does a business get on there? Um, someone, they can add themselves because there are a lot of free business tools where you can add your own photos, a little about me section, which is really nice for businesses to get to do. And then, or I could, you could write a review and if the business isn't there, you just scroll down and there's an add business button. So if I went to a brand new coffee shop that I had a wonderful experience and I really wanted to share it and the business had only been open for a week and it wasn't yet on Yelp, I could just put it in. You could put it in. So you so could put it as a customer of a business. As a customer. You could just add that in. You can add it in. Now, do you need to have an account or something to be able to do that? Y yes. So you can download the app for free for searching and you can download the app for free for adding um, an account. But it, if you start to write reviews, it does ask you your name and if you want to upload a photo, things like that. You don't have to, but obviously I have my real name, my real photo. But you got to have an account for that. Got to have an account. Right. But it's free. It's very easy. So it's free to use, but if you want to add in businesses or reviews, you yeah, got to set up an account. Yeah, yeah. And how... It'll take you about 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay. Well, okay. it'll take me about 30 seconds. I don't know your... And now what happens? <laughs> now, when you do that, then do you get bombarded with email blasts? No. Trying to sell you stuff? No, I promise. There's one weekly email that goes out if you're a Yelp user in Toronto, and it's a tip sheet. So, like, the five best places to get poutine, the five best nail salons. But you can, like any any other e-blast, you can unsubscribe from it. Oh, okay. Don't worry. And, and I write it. It's very harmless, and it, yeah. it's not painful. Now, so, so a business. So, so uh, I'm going to put my business owner hat on here now for a second. Go ahead. I use or think of Yelp as a way to help market my business. I think that it's a great way to think about it because people are going to share stories about your and photos about your business online anyway. I think it's good to utilize it and embrace it. So you can reply to people's reviews, say thank them for it, or if maybe there was. Something in there that was a little not positive and you want to say, oh, I'm sorry, you didn't have a great experience. Or, oh, I'm so hopefully next time you try X, Y, Z. Or mm -hmm. You can reply publicly or privately. You can upload your own photos. You can put an about me about the business, which I always like to read because, you, know, mm -hmm. you know, people have great stories. Business owners, it's like their baby, right? And, um, okay, now, what's the, what's the business model? If you don't mind me asking. <laughs> no, I don't mind oh, you asking yeah, at all. Yeah, how? I don't fully understand it. <laughs> really? No, I do. I do. Well, what I do, though, I don't think – I work really closely with local businesses and people who use the site often yeah. um, to just connect people to great local businesses. So what I do isn't a great big revenue maker. There are ads on the site, though, like mm -hmm. like any site yeah. you're on. So that, that, is the, that is the business model. I see. So you get lots of traffic, right? A lot of traffic, yeah. So, like, what would Yelp rank? I don't know if you know this, but you know, like, how you – you know, Google's number one, right? It would be in the top view, for sure. The top. Yeah. Like, if you searched a business on – if you just went to – let's say you used – the google to search like so many of us do yeah. and you searched a business within the top first hits of that business would be their yelp page the yelp. yeah okay so yelp so, is high so they have their own page the business on yelp yeah so really? yeah so let's look at we're right above uncle tetsu's for example which is a really loved cheesecake japanese cheesecake place i'm sure that you must get lines blocking your office doors we sometimes. did yeah for a while they're, they're, now the lineups are pretty much gone oh that's, that's this has become the cheesecake oh. corner of toronto there's so much cheesecake around here japanese cheesecake it's unbelievable it's delicious but it, it's the, yeah that's a there are quite a few aren't there um the so as you see like right now i'm yeah. sorry to people who are watching no, you can't okay. see um but it you can go and go to their page. And then if you scroll down, you can see reviews and photos that people have added. But Uncle Tetsu has four-star average and about 900 reviews. And it tells you all the locations automatically? Yeah. Okay. So wait a sec. So who created this Uncle Tetsu's page on Yelp? It could have been um, a really eager foodie in Toronto who went in the first day they were open. It could have been the business who wanted a Yelp page before anyone came in, before they were even open. But You have that information, but maybe other people can. Let oh, I, I couldn't look up who, who – at the first review, we could scroll back 900 reviews. <laughs> Oh. I tell you who it is, no, but what? that has 990 reviews. So I'm not going to scroll all the way to the How back. How many stars did they get? They have um, a three and a half star average right now, which is 
five. five. So it's pretty good. People like them. I think that, you know, I would reckon to say that it'll probably slowly go up. I notice a trend sometimes when places are really hot and new and people people don't like to wait in lines. <laughs> so sometimes oh, yeah, right. yeah, sometimes it's that. a four-star experience instead of a five-star if you wait in line for an hour. Yeah. Right. I've noticed that a little bit. I know. You yeah. Know, <laughs> dull, dull the experience. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, we actually interviewed Uncle Tetsu himself. Did you? Yeah. Is he, he was nice? sitting in that fat chair right there. He was he nice? Oh, he was very nice. Yeah. Yeah. He must be so proud. People well, love his cheesecake. Uh, well, he gets to travel all over the world visiting all his Uncle Tetsu's locations. Oh, does he have? I didn't. I don't even know. I don't know why. It just came to mind because it's downstairs. I know nothing yeah. about it except no, for the I cheesecake know. jiggles. Yeah. And people line up for it. Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's, anyway, good old. But say I'm Uncle Tetsu and, uh. And I discover, you know, that, oh, I, that my business You're on has Yelp. a page on Yelp. You probably will. But I want to maybe manage my page. Oh, okay. Like, is that... Well, uh, you know, you can't, you can't control what people say about you. But right. you can control, again, you can reply to reviews publicly or privately, thanking people. Um, you can add the About Me section. You can add extra photos and things to beef up the page and just be in control of it. So all our free tools are available to business owners at biz.yelp.com as opposed to www.yelp.com. I see. Does that make sense? So it gives you a little bit of keys to the castle because we right. want businesses to like Yelp and, and feel in control. Um, and again, about 80% of reviews on Yelp are three stars or higher. So it's not, it's not a scary place for a business. It's a, it's a, it's a happy place. Now, um, let me ask you this, because um, you, we're talking about it started 10, 10 years ago or more, or 15? Um, it started, ago? it's been in Canada for about 10 years, and it's been, I believe it started 15 years ago out of San Francisco. Okay, so here's my question. Hard numbers. Is that, because uh, you mentioned the app now, and I'm just curious, you know, like, how do you find that, because the world's kind of moving from websites to apps, yeah. right? And I'm just interested in your comments about what that means to your business, to Yelp. Yeah, see, itself. Yelp is lucky to be a technology company out of the gate from San Francisco. So in terms of being adaptable and very handheld now, we it was pretty seamless for us, much mm-hmm. like it has been for things right. like Facebook or Instagram. Um, but I think that it used to be that most of the traffic came from um, desktop websites mm-hmm. and now I believe most of the traffic comes from mobile because people are searching mm-hmm. for things on the go this being said when I write reviews I still like to write it I would never write a review with my thumbs because I'd be too paranoid really I just don't like that I don't trust with, I don't like typos with your thumbs you know what I mean like with my phone like if oh, I'm actually yeah, writing yeah. a nice review like right. auto spell yeah like for a dress like for a dress shop that I really care about I still take the time to sit down in front of my computer and I think a lot of Yelp users do you know, because you yeah. take pride in it. You don't want. You know what I mean? It's not like, like too. Like an yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help anyone else. I hate how it changes everything I say. Yeah, and all, especially curse words. <laughs> There's yeah. a lot. Yeah. yeah. Do you get a lot of those? No, I'm, I'm just, we don't. But or, or any, or do you have a way to stars. get rid of them? They um, stop. Or... I think you're allowed to. In, uh, you're definitely allowed to curse on Yelp. I think it's within reason, though. So I think that there would be. Um, if something was a personal attack or something, I think that that would probably get flagged and looked at. But if something was like, this is the best effing taco <laughs> I've, I've had all, all year, that would be fine. I'm, you know. Do you, have, do, you, do you review all the reviews? I mean, is there I somebody don't. that, not you, <laughs> is there, do you check them all and make sure they're... Uh... Um, I, there is a option to flag a review. So if something seems off or... Um, unfair or something like that. A user could flag. Oh, a user could flag a review or a business could flag a review they read. If it seemed, if, you know, if if something was horrible, like something horrible or off base was said, like in a personal attack realm, or if someone was like, I used to work here and they're horrible or something like that, like that's, would definitely get looked at um, Mm -hmm. and see if, make sure it doesn't violate terms of service. But that is um, a very different department and I... Do not read all the Yelp reviews. But I've definitely come across a review where I've been like, where someone's outright been like, I own this roadie place and you should come here, go there instead of this place. And you're like, okay, well, that's not really, that's not pertinent information. (laughs) How do you manage those things? Does somebody from the company, from Yelp come and 
determine whether human be. beings look at all the flecks. So, yeah. it, you know, again, there's people have a lot of opinions. So yeah. it does take a little while for uh, it to get looked at. But if you find something on Yelp that d- seems off, you can flag it and it will get looked at by a person. It's, you okay. know, there are, I'm sure there are, we have sophisticated algorithms and tech things. But if it's, there is an entire department at Yelp of people who look at that sort of thing. Okay. Real humans, and they're nice. And Real nice. humans, that yeah, are not, says not, that. not human computers. beings. Yeah, I think a lot of times people think they're dealing with bots when you're dealing with things like flags on the right. internet. But like with resumes, when you sent them in, yeah, no one's really checking them anymore. Yeah, they're just word matching exactly. Yeah. But that's not what's going on. Now you're the. Um... You've got the office here in Toronto. We do have an office and, in Toronto and now. And do you have yeah. offices like in other cities in Canada? Nope. Toronto would be the only office. And I was a remote employee until until just a couple of years ago we got the office. And I'm still out oh. in the field with businesses a lot. So, right. But there's an office in San Francisco, New York, Phoenix, Washington, Chicago, and Toronto. Maybe Pittsburgh is a small outfit now, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Now, so your job, you, you sound like you just mentioned you're out visiting business. And it, with, your job is mar, uh, director of marketing and community. So what does your job really consist of? Then? Oh, my gosh. This is, very, this is the hardest question. Cause really? it's oh Yeah, it's just one of those things where Monday and Thursday don't look anything alike. Um, but I, it's my job to connect people with great local businesses. So I've got a lovely little team here in Toronto. And we throw events regular with regular businesses for Yelp users to come check out the business, just a sense of community. Um, I write the local Yelp, which is sort of our weekly mailer and a tip sheet that goes out. And I help businesses utilize um, all the free tools, which we talked about a little bit earlier. Some business owners are more tech savvy than I am. Mm -hmm. And some of them uh, are less tech savvy than my grandmother was. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's just, I, I make sure to take the time to help them understand how to use use the to the free tools to their advantage and yeah just connecting people with great local businesses and then so what's uh what is uh, kind of in the pipeline what are you excited about new things that what Yelp I, canada is thank bringing you. to thank your you. customers thank you for asking that so we're doing on june 6th we're doing a charitable boat cruise on the river gambler which is uh, it's our sixth annual, and this year we're working with Jack.org. I believe it's Mental Health Awareness Week, so they're a great uh, young charity that does work for uh, to end mental health stigma. So it's a free boat cruise, lots of great local businesses, food and drink coming aboard. Free? It's free, do with a $5 suggested donation oh, upon gosh. boarding. Yeah. And you can RSVP to that event like next week at yelp.com slash events. Starting next week. You can Starting work. next week. And, I, you know, obviously. You should come. The boat's not unlimited size. So only a limited number of people <laughs> are going to be able to get on that boat. The boat has a maximum of 500 people. That's not bad. It's not terrible. It's a beautiful first boat. First come, serve, no? We, we, RSVP. If we do an right? RSVP on the site and then um, RSVP replies because we don't want people to be waiting on a dock and not make the boat yeah, but it will that. we don't want that especially because they can review us oh, <laughs> right no. after obviously on yelp um but yeah so but it is open to the public it's not just anyone with a yelp account can which is again free to create can can rsvp so anybody watching this right now can <laughs> go open an account if they don't have one and get on that boat yeah and what's okay and it's a uh, obviously raising money for we raise every year we just try and do one big bash that raises money for a local charity and then what happens on the boat do you get food do you get food from local lots of lovely local businesses really yeah that, that just are excited to get in front of yelp users and just toronto community in general and and then we've got some um delicious drinks this year from muskoka brewery tito's georgian bay distillery my friends joke it's a booze cruise, but this year I will not be participating in the... No, not in the booze. <laughs> not in the booze. But some people might be interested in that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and where's the boat going to go? The boat leaves from uh, Lakeshore East, and then it goes around the island. It's beautiful city views. It's really nice. That's nice. Like right around the island? It goes right around. goes out. And it's going to go through that channel? It goes through by the airport, kind of. Yeah, I don't know if it actually goes around or if it yeah. goes to the end and then kind of turns I back know. and kind of takes us in. Yeah, I've been on a couple of boat cruises. Yeah. They never come back through that one channel. 
I feel it's like always it's, in and out by the airport. It might be a little scary in there. I'm not it sure. It might be. <laughs> no, nobody's actually done it. <laughs> yeah. So that's fun. June the 6th. Yeah, June Actually, 6th. that's a great up. Like, come on. June that's 6th. the price of admission right there. Yeah. Anything else coming up? That, uh, um, we do have, we're doing some incredible stuff on our app right now. So there's a new feature called Waitlist. Which means that if a restaurant has a wait list and they're they're using this Yelp app, you can get on their wait list without actually waiting outside the restaurant. Oh. So I don't know how tech savvy your viewers are, but if you have a Yelp account and you want to get on, you can just search wait list within the app. Yeah. And then let's say you really want to go to this hot bar or this hot restaurant and they've got a lineup for an hour. Yeah. It'll tell you when you'll get seated and that way you can just sort of stay in your apartment and wait to go. That's... It's who, clever. Who needs to wait in line? No, you know, waiting in line is... Oh, especially in the winter. It's very clever. Yeah, especially. Um, but, yeah, that's something new that's rolling out right now that's pretty exciting. And Toronto can use it. Because we were talking earlier. There's a lot of lines. <laughs> yeah. People get in a lot of lines for a lot of delicious things here. Yeah. Well, they don't and have to cool. now. don't have they to yell. Now. Yeah. Has, uh, <laughs> and then... Uh, I mean, anything else? Uh, any strategic are, initiatives or anything? That, no, uh, those, that event and the waitlist are the two things I'm most excited about. Okay. So I don't have... It sounds good, but the boat cruise, you have me at the boat cruise. Good. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so let's just uh, talk about, let's do some call to action things right now. Sure. So let's say, first of all, we got, uh, you know, just everyday people. They're not in business, but they're consumers, yeah. they're human beings, mm-hmm. they're living in the city. What do we want them to do? I think they should download the app and use it regularly in Toronto to find great local businesses. And then once they get comfortable, they should start sharing reviews and photos of their favorite businesses. Okay. To pay the love forward. You know, that's so great because I was just in Montreal on the weekend. And, yeah. you know, you walk down the street, you know, to have an app like that where you can actually get some quick reviews about a place that otherwise you don't really know what to expect. Yeah. You know, that's yeah, pretty it's, handy. It's very handy. Right? Especially, you know, especially if you're traveling or in an unfamiliar mm-hmm. uh, territory. So, okay, so that's for your consumer and then for businesses. I mean, Business owners, I just say, chances are your business is already on Yelp. There are free tools at biz.yelp.com and just embrace it. And if you ever have any questions, me or someone on my team are happy to chat and just write to Toronto at Yelp.com. Toronto at Yelp.com. That's my email. That's an email address. It goes right to you. It goes right to me. I check you it. Can deal with obsessively. it. Obsessively. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's fun. Now I understand what Yelp is. <laughs> I mean, so I, I just want to like find out. So do I need to know the business name or can I just say who has the best tuna oh, you, sandwich? You can just who look makes up. the best tuna bagel? What You can look up bagel tuna, and then tuna bagel okay and okay will... so i don't have to have the company name or okay no and you can filter it by open right now near me okay put the location if you know that on tuesday you're going to be in yorkville and you want to get sushi so even i mean sometimes you just want to know what the hours of a business are those that's, that's is all, all on here included yeah all that information is on the biz pages it's almost an app in itself it is it very is very helpful Okay, well, Evelyn, it's been great to have you on the show Thank today. Thank you. Thanks for coming down. Thank you. And people can check it out. It's Yelp.com. There's no Yelp.ca. Yelp.ca, Yelp.com. They'll go and take you to the same place. Doesn't matter. It knows where you are. Okay, perfect. <laughs> thanks, Thank thanks you. for doing this today. <laughs> Bye. Okay, we're going to take a little break. We've got lots more coming up. It's Liquid Lunch on a Tuesday. We'll be right back.